If you thought the Roblox community couldn't get any worse, recently a Roblox fetish furry inflation porn account artist, who is literally 24 years old, was accepted into the Roblox UGC program and proceeded to upload some very questionable fetishized content to the game, which contains children, such as a tongue item with some uh, mysterious liquid globules at the end, as well as some white liquid. Hmm, I wonder what this could possibly symbolize. It totally isn't like this guy and his entire community are all sexual deviant adults projecting their fetishes onto a game which is mostly containing minors. Wait! Wait! Look at that spider there! Zoom in! Spider cock! His Roblox account too, before he changed the name, bed the same tag as his Not Safe For Work Twitter account, in which is literally a Roblox furry porn echo chamber and contains Not Safe For Work. And I mean, this isn't just like a one-off incident. I mean, if you literally check their Twitter account, it is just full of furry inflation torture porn and fetish uh, content. Spider co And literally when it was called out, people, and the only people who were defending it were literally furry porn enthusiasts themselves, were literally saying what a stupid argument that it was that Alaskan Reality, one of the main people who were calling it out, was saying, keep your kinks away from Roblox. Like, how is that a stupid argument? Keep your kinks away from children, please. Keep them well away. And when someone literally ratioed them, saying Roblox is literally being advertised as a safe space for all ages, including children, this wonderful, you know, really smart human being just says, Wow, they're lying! As some kind of, like, a brilliant rebuttal against all of this. Clearly they lost the argument and they look like an absolute clown. Wow. Like, who would have known that, uh, Twitter accounts that make tweets such as this, who literally trying to integrate into the Roblox community full of children, are being called out. And who would have guessed that the only accounts actually defending this guy are the same accounts which are in his echo chamber. The same sexual degenerates. For example, this Twitter account called Font000, which I heavily recommend you do not look at their media tab, was saying, only on Twitter will you get flamed by 13 year olds because you make a tongue model on Roblox. When they're just simply belittling what it actually is, it's literally fetish content. The 24 year old who posted it clearly knew the intent of his actions and they're just trying to dumb it down to victimize them, saying they're some victim of uh, cancel culture and harassment. No, they're trying to project their fetish content onto children. You are completely justified in calling that out. Anyway, I replied, You're a 19 year old furry inflation fetish enthusiast. Get some friends, please. Do not check their profile. And I mean, I, I cannot describe how degenerate this person's profile is. I mean, it's clear that these types of people are going to try and mold and fit in and defend people who are literally just like themselves. It's no surprise there. Now, in response to all the backlash, Zoid, aka the furry inflation artist who is 24 years old, clapped back at some of the allegations against him. But I'm just going to go and home in on the fact they said people are going out their own way to find my art on my Twitter account. It is not linked to my Roblox profile because there is literally one simple tweet that debunks this entire narrative as Rubinson made a tweet establishing how their YouTube channel was linked to their Roblox account and then their not safe for work Twitter was linked to that YouTube channel literally showing a direct link. Additionally, their not safe for work account name is the exact name or at least was the exact name to their Roblox account name and one Google search would have released Pandora's box to any unsuspecting individuals and exposed them to the practically hundreds of gigabytes of furry fetish content. It's really no surprise that someone who was begging to join the Roblox UGC program for years decided the most applicable thing to do was once they were accepted in it was to upload very obvious fetishized content to the kids platform and then plead ignorance and belittle what it actually was when they eventually face criticism and then proceed to dump a lot of self-victimization techniques and to also pretend that they're getting quote-unquote attacked for no reason. I can have my tongue out and then it'll go back inside my mouth until I'm done talking. Now, of course, upsetting the furry porn fandom is like sticking your tongue in a bee's nest. So, of course, the very morally righteous and smart individuals of the furry fandom proceeded to harass and attack Alaskan Reality, who was one of the main people who were calling out Mr. Zoid the furry spider. 
Many grown adults cosplaying as furries then proceeded to say that they were going to dig up dirt on Alaskan reality, as if that would suddenly negate everything he has said already. Once again, this is just a deflection technique, and even if they do find anything in which they won't, it will literally not harm his argument at all. And you're gonna love the end comment, keep your head high, king! Anyway, other furries took it upon themselves to be actual pedophiles and to make sexually charged comments to Alaskan reality's child. So let me try my best to read these comments without wanting to curl over and rot. Don't you just want to something his daughter's feet? And then this person says, who even is that? And then this person, the obvious pedophile, says his daughter, Alaskan reality's daughter. And then the other person says, oh, I don't do minors, but you do you, king. Obviously, this person seems like they were the ones who leaked this conversation. And um, the same person with the uh, protogen profile picture uh, messaged Alaskan Reality, posted a picture of the daughter and said, I want to something your daughter's feet and inflate her belly. Absolutely disgusting things. But you can't expect anything less from Zoid's fanbase. Now, it's nice to know not everyone in the Roblox community is obviously buying this sexual degenerate's uh, excuses when he literally makes a separate tongue model from his spider character's head. Like, if he wanted just to make the spider character, he could have just merged the models together and made one singular model. Like, I wonder what everyone with the hungry tongue is going to be using the hungry tongue for. And many big members of the Roblox community, as I've said already, Alaskan Reality and Ruben Sim, were dogging on this guy. And also, uh, Surreal, who was saying, spiders literally don't have tongues. And I mean, this guy is literally known for fetishizing, like, body parts of certain creatures. So obviously, I think anyone with more than half a brain could understand what the hungry tongue is really going to be used for in the game. Now, it isn't surprising at this current moment of time that Roblox just openly gives UGC permissions to people like this, considering the <laughs> plethora of other bad actors, which are literally saturated in their community. But... I digress. This video obviously is not intended for harassment or hate speech, it's just to give an educational insight into the situation as a whole. Obviously don't go harass, attack, or insult anyone present in this video. It's just basically to go over, Roblox, seriously, what are you and your moderation team doing right now? Make sure to comment your opinions, what you basically think about this entire situation, because I'll be reading them down below. And also make sure to like and subscribe if you're new and help us get to 274,000 subscribers. And I'm going to try and basically make a lot more videos. I just had a break since I came back from Vietnam. But yeah, I'll be making a lot more videos. Stay tuned for those and I'll see you guys next time. Also, like another note, I don't want my channel to become like the trenches of Dunkirk after I've upset the furry fandom. So obviously, no ill will to everyone. Just, uh, yeah, please don't project your fetishes onto children, please. I know that's a very controversial thing to say nowadays.